All right, guys, here we are to continue our Zero Escape adventure. We are working our way towards the next ending. We found Alice, and we finished the puzzle room in the last episode, so now we... Uh, and we found the, uh, the three bomb, right? Or the one bomb? This is the one bomb, the three bomb was in the other room, yeah, okay. Help me out here. All right. Alice was lighter than I'd expected, and fine, I managed to set off toward the infirmary at a brisk trot. Okay, jump cut to the infirmary. Nice. All right, please pay attention, every. Yep, we're gonna find out that she has radical six as well. Uh, and we talk about the. Uh... Um, Clover just staying there, yep, or, yeah, so Clover staying. She can do what she wants. Huh? I see. Dio and Tenmyoji's opponent in the next AB game is Clover. Yeah. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to ally, which I don't think I need to mention would be pretty favorable for Dio. If she stays, he's got an easy round. Whoa, what are you saying? You think I'm gonna choose Betray? Yeah, I <laughs> do. Am I wrong? Yes! Of course I'm gonna pick Ally. For one, Tenmyoji's gonna be in there with me. I can't just ignore his opinion and make my own choice, right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't be going. I can't leave Quark oh. when he's like this. So because the person isn't at 1 BP, he's not going this time? Last time he went, right, to make sure that Dio didn't hit Betray and kill someone? I'll be staying, just like Clover. Hey, come on now, what is this? Knock it off, Dio. He's too smart to let you make a scapegoat out of him. What the hell? Why are you so suspicious of me? Um... Yes? What if Dio stays behind too? If Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio all don't vote, then... everyone allies, right? Oh... you... Don't know? Okay, so he got the note this time. No nice. Way. This? You didn't find a note like this one? Yo. Huh? Wait, what's this? We found it in the archives. Yeah. Well, sure as hell wasn't anything like that in the garden. We didn't find one in the control room either. Hmm. Interesting. Apparently, only the archive had one. <laughs> what does it Why say? Why don't you read it for us, Sigma? All right. Well, we know this, so. Yeah, extra rules. Yep. You see, at least one member of each trio must vote. Otherwise... That means Kay has to vote. Quark and Alice certainly aren't in any condition to. If he doesn't, all three of them are screwed. Wait a second. Kay's got six BP right now. His opponent is going to have to default to ally. That means if Kay chooses Betray, he's going to have nine points. You needn't worry. I have every intention of choosing ally. Oh, give me a break. You expect us to just swallow your bullshit? Freaking Dio. Oh dear. Dio, please, think for a moment. You do realize that Alice currently only has one BP, don't yeah. you? If I were to betray her, what would happen? Anyone is... Yep, penalized. I am not so desperate to escape that I would be willing to kill. Therefore, I will definitely choose ally. Indeed, I really have no choice. Unless, of course... I wish to become a murderer. He did last time, so I believe him, but who knows? Things can go different pretty easily. Five minutes. Five Remake. minutes, okay. We don't have time to argue about this. There's only one solution. Clover, you're going to have to go vote for us. Huh? What does that mean? What, did I use big words? Huh? It means this. Oh, shit. I'd never seen someone move that fast before, let alone someone as old as Tenmyoji. In the blink of an eye, he covered a few feet between himself and Dio. I didn't expect this at all, and slammed a closed fist into the other man's chest. Jeez. Dio fell to his knees, wheezing for air. Tenmyoji waited a half second to make sure he was down, then turned to look at Clover. He's not gonna stay down forever. Get out of here, Clover. B but You and Kay are in the same position now. I've only got one BP, just like Alice. Interesting. So long as Tenmyoji doesn't vote, 
Clover's only choice is to choose Ally. Hmm. hmm. Admittedly, there is a chance she might kill me. Are... are you saying you trust me with your life? That's about the size of it. Damn. Well, what the hell are you standing around for? Get! You don't need to worry about Alice. I'll keep a good eye on her, I promise. Now get moving! You still don't trust me. N no that's not it at all. I trust you, I just... So as long as she... As long as she gets in the room and, and shuts the door, right, he can't get in. I was thinking, like, what if she goes in and then he comes after? But since I'm pretty sure Dio's on her team against Tenmyoji, right? I think? Or is Dio on Tenmyoji's team? Shit. I don't remember. Crap. All right, we'll we see. Need I to guess. Go. Come on. Okay. Take care of Alice. She'll be fine. No, Clover. Clover is a solo, right? Because Clover went with me and Luna one of the doorways, right? So she must be a solo, which means Tenmyoji must be with Dio, which means that Dio could technically still get up and make it to the room even if Ali I mean even if Clover goes in her room and shuts the door. Damn. Shit. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Clover might get betrayed. If they can't hold him down here, that seemed to finally satisfy her, and we were off. We ran as fast as we could, leaping through doors and tearing through rooms on our way back to the warehouse. Alright. Let's do this A B game. I'm most likely gonna ally, right? We're against Phi. Uh, I mean, there is the chance. She has her logic. Sometimes she's okay with allying, sometimes she betrays. I think I'm gonna try to trust her and go with Ally, so we'll we'll see. Everybody ready? Yeah. You've all got a moon card, right? Yes, we do. Good. Then let's go. Uh, that's not gonna end well. Four AB gates yawned open as we swiped our cards. I have a feeling that Dio's gonna make it there and betray uh, Clover. The fifth one, the one Dio had open, stayed empty. The sixth, which would have been Alice's, remained unopened. Kay and Clover quickly entered the second and third from the right, and Luna and I headed toward our own. Hold on a minute. Alice is a solo as well. She went and voted on her own because she woke up in time, but that was because we cured her last time. She's not cured this time, so she's probably not going to show up. What is it? You're going to choose Ally, right? Yeah, why do you ask? Of course we are. You promise? Sure. I promise. Cross your heart. Cross my You're heart. You're gonna be in a world of hurt if you double cross me. Oh boy. Don't sweat it. I'm a man of my word. Huh. <laughs> well that's gonna suck to have to go betray. Uh five frowned but said nothing and then disappeared into her own A B room, the second from the left. Luna and I nodded to one another and headed for the last one, the leftmost room. Alright. Here we go. Shut that door. Let's do this, guys. Ding, ding. One minute. What are you going to do? Well, I don't have a choice, do I? I promised. I said I'd choose allies. Yes, but... Fi has six BP. If she betrays us... Yeah, she'll have nine points, I know. Right. What do you think we should do, Luna? I... It's your decision, Sigma. I'll be in the same position either way. What? You have six BP too, don't you? That means if we betray Fi, and she chooses ally... Then I would have nine points. Yes. You see? In either case... I could end up with someone in my group reaching their goal. 20 seconds remain. That's it. We don't have any time left. You have to make a choice. Are you sure this is okay with you? Yes. 
All right. I turn to face the machine. Ten seconds remain until. What am I going to choose? Nine, eight, seven. Ally or betray? Six, five. I'm four, building this one up. <laughs> this is impossible. Three, two, one. Well, like I said, ally is always my default unless I have a really good reason of someone, like, screwing me over. Or, or obviously, like, Dio, who is a bad guy in this situation, you know? Um, kind of thing. Even though he allied in the first round, look at how much we know about him, you know? But, yeah. So, ally is my go-to, so stick with my guns. Let's see what happens. Who knows? Round two. Of the results. Thank you, Ambidex. All right. Luna and I stepped out of our AB room a little later than the others. They were already gathered in front of the projection, awaiting the announcement of the results. You chose Ally, right? Are you sure that was okay? <laughs> yeah. What else was I gonna do? I promised. It'll be fine. I'm sure Fi chose Ally too. Really? Come on, what's with you? Do you not trust Fi? No, that's not what I mean. It's just... Uh, let's just go have a look, shall we? Why are we even talking about this? We'll know what happened in just a few seconds. You're right. Let's go. Alright. Let's do this. Alright. K Quirk and Alice. We have Ally, Ally, nice. Dio, okay, they both allied. And Fi betrayed us. God damn you, Fi, you meanie! See, Fi is so close to waifu, but then she does shit like this. Points have been assigned. Please check. Well, now Fi's gonna leave and we're gonna get a shitty ending, I bet. Hey, what the hell is this? Why do you choose Betray? I thought we promised. We? I don't remember that. Yeah, I mean, I guess technically uh, Sigma promised Ally, but she never said she was gonna. You promised me. You said you'd choose Ally, but I don't recall promising you anything. I was free to choose whatever I wanted. Hold on. You should have seen this coming. I told you I'd make you pay. What? And now I am. Huh? I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about. Wait, when did she tell us she'd make us pay? You reap what you sow. This is your fault. You chose betray first. What? First? Do you mean in round one? No. I mean the first round two. What? Uh, have you lost it? Take a real good look at the results up there. This is round two. My vote was ally, yours was betray. I didn't betray you. I've never betrayed you. Yes, you have. Remember? Oh, don't lie to me, Sigma. What? Drop the act. There's no way you don't know by now. Know about what? What's happening to you? The strange things you've been seeing. Do you mean the... premonitions? I wanted to say it, but as the words formed in itself in my mouth, I felt a tingle along the back of my neck. Someone was looking at me. What? I turned around to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. What are the two of you talking about? It's nothing. Forget about it. So she knows about the premonitions too, which we kind of had a hint of that, and, and also the fact that she knows things that we shouldn't. So she's kind of having the same thing that we're having, where she had a, like, premonition of us hitting Betray, which we haven't done yet, but we're gonna do it, you know? Like, whenever we go back to that and, and change that choice kind of thing. So she had premonition of, like, another timeline of that happening, but we hadn't done it yet. Interesting. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You were the only person who chose to betray this round. Is there some connection to what you and Sigma were discussing? Yes, there is a... connection. But you wouldn't believe me. You don't know that. 
We might believe a lot. Phi looked away and scowled. For several long moments, her eyes stared off into the distance, and I could also... So, does that mean that we're most... Like, when we go back and we go the other way and we hit ally... Uh, I mean, if we hit betray, she's probably going to ally, and that way she can resent us now, and she, at that point, she's probably going to say, I'll get you for this or whatever. Um, okay. And I could see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. Huh? What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. Through the number nine door. Hey, wait. I like how we always, like, I don't know, maybe it'll be different here, but I like how we always just let everyone leave. Yet, whenever Sigma tries to leave, everyone tackles them and knocks them out and shit. I scrambled around in, in front of her and threw my arms out. You're in my way. Move. Okay, I guess we're trying to stop her anyway. No, I'm not letting you go. What happened to you? I didn't think you were the kind of person who ditched the rest of us so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust, it feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Betrays your... Wait, are you saying... Whatever. Just get out of my way. No, I'm not moving. I see. Then you leave me no choice. As she spoke, Phi bent down. Jesus. Yeah, she did like a massive jump before too, right? Then shot up into the air and over my head. How can she jump so high? <gasps> Does she have robot legs and we have robot arms and we were like a match made in heaven and that's why she can jump so high? I spun around to see her standing next to the number nine door, her hand on the lever. Nice you... try. She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. Te, acta est fabula. Whoa, what the hell is that? It's Latin. Applaud. The play has ended. That's what it means. Well, Latin. See you later. Wait, stop. A bolt of searing light roared through my brain. Oh shit. Are we gonna say something? When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. Oh god, are we just- is that over? To be continued, oh shit! I wonder if we're gonna have some kind of info in Latin, like, that she needs to be the one to translate, and if we, like, somehow convince her not to pull the lever after this, like, whenever we continue this. We convince her not to pull the lever, and then, uh, and then by doing that, we, we continue on, like, past, and maybe she stays or something. Interesting. Well, all right. Um, I can't remember. I think that was an ending I saved there, so we'll do one more down. We still have plenty of slots, so. All right, that's another ending. Not not as exciting as some of the other endings, but it's also to it's to be continued. It's not an ending, so I, I can't really say much there. Um, okay, so now we just go back and change our choice, I guess. And now we betray her. She might ally with us, and then she's gonna get pissed at us, and it's gonna trigger everything that we just did in the other branch. The reason One why minute. she betrayed us. What are you going? Yes, but. There we go. Okay. And betray. All right. It should auto stop us to talk, cause she'll say like, "That's the choice you made." Yeah. Luna and I stepped out of the AV room a little later than the others. They were already gathered. Yep. So you chose betray. <laughs> yeah. Did you do it to protect yourself? Were you worried that Phi might choose Betray? That's a good question. Huh? I'm honestly not sure myself why I did it. Well, we should go see the results. I want to see how Kay and Clover voted. 
Right. <laughs> Let's go then. Hmm. I wonder if she betrays us too, or and then she still gets mad at us because we promised we'd ally. Results from round two. Or if she allies and that's the real betrayal. Please. I feel like she allied and that's the real betrayal, right? Douche, douche, douche. Yep, that's the same. That's the same. Yep, and we betrayed her trust and now she's gonna be mad. Yep. She allied. Are we gonna say the same kind of thing this time? Or are we gonna be like, like you betrayed last time, kind of like she did Coins us? Please. Alright. Well, we have 9 BP. Let's see how we get tackled and stopped from leaving well this played, time. Sigma. I guess a promise means a lot to you. I had nothing to say. She was right. I'd broken a promise. Why did you do it? Nothing to say? I guess I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Elapsum yep. simel occasionum. Non There's more Latin. Test Jupiter reprehendere. What's that? A Latin proverb. What does that mean? What does it mean? Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Jupiter is a Roman god. Actually, he's kind of the Roman god. He's in charge of all the others. Not even Jupiter, the ruler of the gods, can take back what's been done. You did something bad. You're not gonna get a chance to take it back. Okay. Ominous. I turned away from Phi. I couldn't stand to look at her anymore. Okay. In front of me were Kay and Clover. Their eyes bored into me with cold disapproval and I looked away. They'd both chosen ally as promised. The only person who'd betrayed anyone was me. The only person with 9 BP was me. Little wonder I, was, I wasn't very popular. What do you intend to do? You aren't thinking about trying to open the number 9 door, are you? For a moment, I considered the unthinkable. Could I break through them and reach the door? Once I was through, I'd be out of the game and free from their judgment, but... No, I couldn't do that. How could I possibly justify leaving them all behind so I could escape on my own? Why had I chosen Betray? In my memory, it seemed like an almost flippant choice, as if I'd just been curious to see what would happen if Betrayal was... That's so goddamn meta, like, it's kind of like how, like, we chose Betray just because we want to see what this ending is, right? It, just curious to see what would happen, that kind of thing. It's so meta. If Betrayal was what I wanted, I should have made that choice with commitment. But there I was, and I couldn't turn back. So he didn't have any, like, premonition this time of, like, sh her, of her hitting it. I wonder if it's because we did it the other way around. If we hit Betray first, and then did Ally second, would we have, uh, would it, would it have been like the opposite or something? You ally, we would have been like, you allied last time, why'd you betray this time or something, you know? Anyway, um, I don't know. But there I was and I couldn't turn back. Even if I didn't try to open the number nine door, they would all be suspicious of anything I did. Trust is easy to break and hard to repair. Unless I could somehow turn back the clock, I was stuck with the consequences of my actions. A lapsum simel, like not even Jupiter. Yep. How could I do something that was beyond the reach of a god? Why hadn't I just chosen an ally? What would be happening to me right now? And what if? What if? What if? Then five spoke and I blinked. Shit. Sigma, we're just doing this to be safe. We can't let you run around with 9 BP. Oh, shit. I'm afraid Here we you're go. going to have to sleep for a little while. Okay? Huh? I started to turn around, but it was already too late. I felt a heavy hand slam into the back of my neck. Oh, here we go again. Knocked out. We're going to wake up. Maybe in the infirmary again. And then everything went dark. Oh, just game over. Shit. So that's not even a... Well, we'll have to check. That's not even a 2B continue. That's just... Game over. Game over, man. Um. 
Okay. Yeah, so that's not even a to be continued thing. So we're we're done with that. Damn. So we are coming down to the wire, guys. We are done that branch, and now we are going to be moving on to this one. So I'm actually going to take a brief interval, um, and I'll cut out, obviously, the whole thing. I'm going to have my friend see if he can give me a rundown on everything that happened, because this was the first room. I want to make sure that I remember everything that happened going from, like, here all the way down, all the way down to here, and then splitting off. I want to make sure I remember everything, so that way, uh... When I go through the green door, I'm not like super confused as to what's going on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tab out, ask him to give me that rundown, and then I'll uh I'll I'll cut right to finishing and then we'll we'll go. Okay guys, we are good to go. I have kind of refreshed my memory on basically everything that happened in these branches, at least most of like the key things that you know we might see again, or that way we know what changes. Um so we went through the magenta door with Luna, um, and we proceeded to the AB game, which, uh, to go down this path that we went down, we, uh, yeah, we allied, yeah, we allied with, uh, with Luna, and, uh, in, in some of these paths, I think it might have been both of them, either way, uh, Luna and Alice both died. That's after this point, though, so we might see that again. Uh, at one point, Quirk also went missing, but we found him in the pods. And then one of the times we also stuck Dio in the pods, that was because we used the uh, Luminol on his bracelet, so we knew that he was the one that uh, killed the old lady in the AB, like, in, in the AB room, and he, like, infiltrated in. So we stuck him in one of the pods, and then one of the times we came back later, and he was dead, suffocated, and his bracelet was off and broken, and Quirk's bracelet was also missing, but Quirk was still alive, yet his bracelet was off. So, yeah, um... That's, that's kind of the gist of it. And now we are going to be teaming up with Luna to go through the green door and, and go in here. So uh, there might have been a few more small things that I might have forgot, but for the most part, it shouldn't be too bad. I swallowed. <laughs> I, Alice, and I will go through the green door with Luna. Alice, Luna, the green door. Okay, so yeah, we're with Alice now. That's good to know, too. That's something I forgot about. I forgot that... I don't know why I was thinking I was still with five, but no, we're with Alice because it changed after the AB game. Yeah, okay. Right. I'm coming. All right. They both took off for the door, and I followed behind at a run. I glanced back over my shoulder in time to see the others head into their respective doors. Phi, Dio, and K ducked into the red door, just as Tenmyoji carried Quirk through the blue door. Okay, so Quirk was passed out at this point, and Tenmyoji is carrying him. Okay. Uh, Clover right on his heels. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic doors closing. Alright. Green door time, baby. I guess this is going to be a weird video, because usually, usually I end the video at the beginning of a puzzle room... And then I start the puzzle from the next episode. But I think I'm going to be playing this game again tomorrow anyway. Um, so I think I'll just do part of the puzzle room, right? And then we'll we'll probably have to finish. If, if I get close to finishing, I'll try to finish in this video. But yeah. Whoa. Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. What's this thing here? It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? Might as well. Okay, so we're not going in the treatment center. Huh. Look at the door on the right. It opened. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Why would just the one door on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. Did we go in this before? That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. All right. Don't but... go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Come on, Sigma. <laughs> let's go. Okay. 
Let's find out if this is the room. Yeah, I think this is it. Golem bag. This room was randomly open one time, mysteriously, and we didn't know why. Um, because there was like two doors in this pathway open in one branch, so... We still- that's another question that we have that we never got an answer to. I wonder if, when that'll come back around. What is this place? It is kind of confusing, isn't it? What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. If you say so. We should split up and search it. We need to find, um, key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, seek a way out. Nice. Let's do this, baby. I'll probably be hitting this ending tomorrow. Okay, let's get started. What the heck is this guy? Maybe it's an Egyptian mummy. What? Any way you look at it, it's a robot. Then maybe it's a robot? There's no maybe about it. I can't imagine it's anything else. You're kidding, right? That's insane. Well, what do you think it is? Just a well-made mannequin? <laughs> what is that thing? Okay, a chevron block? What is this? It looks kind of like a hexagon if you flipped one of... If you flipped one of the corners in. I mean, technically it's still a hexagon, but... Hmm. What is this? It feels kind of greasy. Maybe it's oil? Okay. A radio? It's got an antenna. Do you think it could be a radio? Why don't you try turning it on? Yeah, well, I tried that. Nothing happens. Maybe the batteries are dead. Hmm. What is it? I don't think it runs on batteries. There's an electrical socket on the side here. So you're saying it needs a power cable? Oh, okay, that's probably something we need. What is this? Okay. Nothing, apparently. The little arms aren't anything. What about this button? Huh. There's a button up here. Then maybe you should press it. Right. Here goes... Oh. Oh, shit! Creepy. Look! It's eyes! They're glowing red. Does that mean it's on? Okay. Can we control the arm? No. Oh, look at that. We probably have to put something in there. Shaped like a star. Maybe you need to put something into it. Something that's shaped like a star, I'm assuming? Yeah. I bet... Oh my god, we can turn... Oh. You can turn very fast right there. Uh... Kind of looks like a stage. Yeah, like for disco. Really? Disco? What's disco? Who knows? Not me. What? Ah uh, ha 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 ha. Uh, okay. Interesting. Doesn't this button seem suspicious? Yeah. Most of the buttons are boring or just incomprehensible, but this one speaks to me. What does it say? Come on, a big red button on a plate with black and yellow stripes? It couldn't scream don't press me any louder if I said don't press me on it. If it said don't press me on it. Is it a self-destruct button? Maybe the moment we press it we'll hear a soft hiss and then the room will start to fill up with poisonous gas. What if it launches a missile? I don't know, that seems a little... Yeah! <laughs> Luna! Holy shit! Hey! What are you doing? It's okay. There's no way anything really dangerous would just be right out here. I'm pretty sure Zero Senior wants us to play through this whole game. It wouldn't make much sense to just kill us in one of these rooms. Maybe, but that's just your opinion. You could be wrong. Well, I guess so. Then why the hell did you... Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Nothing happened, so there's nothing to get mad about, alright? What if Luna... You know how we had that ominous stuff a few episodes back of Luna, like, knowing about the robots and saying, like, uh, she was instructed and stuff like that? What if she was, like, Zero, and Zero really has, like, a righteous goal, kind of like the, uh, I guess technically the second Nonary game did with Akane and Aoi and everything, um, 
And and so like we could still have Luna be like the sweetheart, but she's actually ju uh, zero. <laughs> anyway, hey hey hey, calm down. Nothing happened, so there's nothing to get mad about. All right. <laughs> you heard that noise though, right? Like something trying to start up. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's again. What is that? I wonder what's making it. Whatever it does it doesn't sound like it's working right. Kinda sounded like it didn't have enough juice or something. Okay. Well, I just switches some buttons here. I have no idea what all this stuff on the screen means either. What do these buttons do? Probably shouldn't press any of them just to be safe. Okay. Um, so we have a laptop. A desk with some drawers. There's a PC monitor and a keyboard on top of it. Where's the computer? I'd imagine it's built into the monitor. Hmm. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but there's a single cable from the back of it. Is that a power cable? I think so. Can we put the radio? Yeah, connected to something with an electrical socket. Have you seen anything like that, Sigma? Wait, you're holding it right now. <laughs> Hurry up and plug it in. Alright. Perfect. I guess it's nice that we plug this radio in, but what do we do with it now? Why don't you, have to why don't you try tuning it? What? You need to adjust it so it's picking up a specific frequency. Maybe we'll hear something. Exactly. If we get really lucky, maybe it can pick up transmissions from outside. Press the tuning buttons until you match the desired frequency. Press the check button to check your solution. You must press the tuning buttons exactly four times. Press the check... Oh. Right. Uh... What? Am I supposed to know the frequency before I do this, or am I supposed to guess? I guess let's come back to this. Okay, well I gave it a shot. What frequency am I supposed to tune it to, though? Hmm, I guess it's not going to do us much good unless we know that, huh? Yeah, okay. You're probably right. Let's see if we can find any clues. Okay. That makes sense. Does the laptop work? Nothing on the monitor. Alright, pretty old keyboard. It looks like it's been used quite a bit. Nothing happens if we try typing on it. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? We got some lockers. There's a white jacket in here. It looks like there's something on the label. Wait, did that say label? <laughs> anyway, a name tag? Harold. ID. Okay. Harold. Then this name tag must belong to a Mr. Harold. There's also something written on the back of it. Yep. So an, we have an ID number. A white jacket, huh? Oh, look. There's something in his pocket. Oh, can we combine? Hey. Oh, this is going to make the star. I see it now. Cool. A doctor's coat, huh? Would you like me to put it on? Huh? Why? I just thought you might be into that kind of thing. Wh what? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. See? Bullseye. Look at you, all bashful. You can be cute when you're embarrassed. Is this a binder? There's a single piece of paper in here. To be fair, <laughs> Alice technically would be wearing more clothes if she put that on. Anyway. Oh, a frequency list. There we go. Archive. Frequency list. Oh, so the ID is for Harold, and we get, like, the the difference. So I think 1110 was him. So I wonder, I guess we can do that one, but maybe there is even more frequencies we have to do. But let's try that one just for now. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't look at... I didn't look at the thing again just to make sure. Yeah, 1110. Okay, I was right. Uh, so the archive frequency list, 1110 was 400. Okay, to get 400, if we skip all the way... One... Nope, we went too far. Okay.
Damn. Almost got it. Um. There we go. Nice. So what does that get us? Releasing lock? What? What was that noise? Look, the monitor. It reacted to the noise from the radio and turned on. So it's some kind of voice recognition system then? It looks that way, yes. There's something on the screen. This is... I think it's a blueprint of this room. Oh. Okay. Interesting. On, off. V. A bunch of circles. And then X marks the spot. Interesting. Okay, I guess let's continue. A poster, huh? It's a little unsettling. Maybe it's a clue. Yeah, let's take it. You found a poster with an eye in the center of it. You can view it in the archive. Okay. Interesting. I guess we'll probably know what to make of that eventually. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Well, that's definitely important. Oh, I didn't mean- Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that either. We got the star now. Whoa. Anybody else feel dizzy all of a sudden? No, that was just your imagination. Yeah, right, whatever. What? So what the heck is this? I have no idea, which makes it pretty useless to us. Why did we combine that star and then suddenly he said he got dizzy? Hmm. What are you going to do with that? I guess nothing, apparently. How about this? Nope. Are you serious? Maybe I could try hitting something with it? What would you hit? Maybe something here? Okay, I think we got everything. Oh! We got battery A. Interesting. A toolbox. It's got a key in it. Huh. That's odd. What is it? The, this key. It obviously goes to this keyhole, but it won't turn. Can you get it out? Hmm, let me see. Alright, we got a key now. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Well, let's put this in, right? Huh, that's odd. Why won't it fit? The star-shaped block? Yeah, it's the same shape and everything. Well, maybe it's not the right size. I guess so. It looks like this block is a little too big to fit. Interesting. We don't combine it with the key? No, okay, I don't think so. Interesting. Do you remember that blueprint thing we found? Yeah, I do. There was a red X on it, wasn't there? Yeah, exactly. And don't you think the spot that X is indicating was right around here? What, you've forgotten already? Come on, at least try to remember. Yeah... Maybe we put the battery in the robot? A robot thingy... Interesting. Maybe a key? I don't see any kind of keyhole. Interesting. Maybe there's something else we need? We can't unplug it or something? Interesting. Okay, so what do we do now? Damn it. I guess it's no good. Keeps the rest of your turn, huh? Yeah, looks like it. Interesting. Okay. What can we use this on? Battery A. It looks like it, like, slides into something. Oh, there's drawers. 
Oh, okay. Is it locked? Yeah. Well, if there's a key hold, it probably, yeah, okay. Hold on. This is something. Damn, doesn't look like this is the right key. Oh shit. Doesn't look like it's gonna open. It's probably locked. I don't see a keyhole anywhere. Oh, that one's open. So this is probably how we get our answers. Huh, no response from this tablet. Is it broken? Part of the back seems to be held on by screws. Oh, I bet that's where the batteries go, yeah. Oh, wait, it said held on by screws. We need to un- we need a screwdriver. Shit, well that doesn't do us any good. I'm back to square one. The key doesn't work. Um, so now we know... Interesting. Should I try the other frequencies while we're at it? Right? That's the only thing I can think of, right? That we haven't done yet. Um, archive. We have this poster, but I don't know what we're supposed to do with it yet, right? Like... I don't think that correlates with anything we have yet. We have a sketch of the room, which is on, off, and then V... We could try the big button again. Yeah. Um, what do these stages say? Both sides of the room have a long platform with kind of like a stage. Okay. So the only thing I can think of is putting in the other... The other frequencies. What what is the uh, the V up here? Is that supposed to be the exit? Okay. Interesting. It's so weird that this can't fit, but maybe we're supposed to somehow use these lasers to shrink it, maybe? I guess let's try some of these other frequencies. Um, archive. Frequency list. Um, let's wipe this. Let's do 700, 1000, 250. Is this just all the frequencies? 100. 1500. Shit, this might just be all the frequencies. We already did 400. 850. And 250. That, that just literally might be all the frequencies on that thing. Oh, we don't need it anymore. Oh, well, well, god damn it. Shit. Okay, so... Looks like the monitor is turned off. That's okay. I've got the blueprint stored up here. So we're just done with that. Okay. There was nothing else in these, right? Do our codes like this at work? Huh? You said you have a medical license, right? Oh, um, yes. Yes, I do. Interesting that she hesitated, and now we know a little more about her. I wonder... There's a white jacket in here. Doesn't seem to be anything else. Okay. White jacket in here doesn't seem to be suspicious. Okay, so that rules these out. We finish that. We really couldn't mess with this? Let's climb on top of it. What is that going to accomplish? This seems like a thing, doesn't it? We can't, like, use the key on it. Yeah, yeah. Pushing down on it didn't seem to do anything. Okay. Huh, it's weird that, like, it sounds like we're supposed to use something there. So the- Oh, wait, 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 wait! I know! I know, I know, I know, I know! Maybe I can put this rusty key in the oil. Yeah! There we go! Sweet. I guess it worked. 
the lock's open. Yeah. Let's have a good look inside, shall we? There's a bunch of stuff in here. Might as well have a look then. Uh, washing? Bottle of detergent? A bottle of detergent. I think I saw a commercial for this the other day. It's supposed to eradicate grease and oil stains. Oh. We got a screwdriver. And another key. Okay. Wait, so... If we use this on the grease, is that gonna give us something? Oh, are you going to use a detergent to clean up the oil? That sounds like a good idea, but I don't think the detergent by itself is going to be enough. You need something to wipe it with. Then how about putting the detergent on a rag or something? Seems like that would be easier. Oh, well. Never mind. We need a rag. Um, so now we can do this at least. Let's get rid of some of these items, right? That's going to do that, and then... We combine that with the battery, right, and now, yep, still doesn't do anything. Maybe you don't have enough. Oh, enough what? Do I have to spell it out? Well, I guess it did say battery A. Pretty sure it can hold one more, or more than one. Okay, never mind. We're not doing that yet. Okay. Uh, well, we got a key. Let's use the key. Yes, it worked. Now open it. Hold on, no need to rush me. Ah, this is where the star goes, okay. Yes, it fits perfectly. Did you just hear a noise? Yeah, from the middle drawer. The middle one, huh? Oh, so now that one unlocked. Hey. Oh, and now the crank goes in the other. It's all fitting together, boys and girls. Let's do this. Yes, perfect. Do you think you can turn it? Yeah, give me a sec. Okay. What? What the hell? Something's coming down from the ceiling. Those are... Ah. <laughs> One of them has underwear on. Oh, that's the rag we need, right? Probably. Oh my god. They look just like the thing on the table. Robots. Oh, we faded to black. I was scared. I know I'm repeating myself here, but what the hell are these things? They're robots, I told you. So what, is this some sort of secret military R&D lab? Why would you think that? Isn't it obvious? These things are weapons. You don't know that. What, are you gonna say these are built for housework? Sure, I can see people buying monstrous metal skeletons to stock their house, vacuuming rooms, folding clothes, and rocking children to sleep. I don't think all these robots are here just to scare us or surprise us or something. This just seems like an awful lot of work to go to just to get a reaction out of us, you know? Yeah, you have a point. These are definitely real robots. Okay, oh, that one has the other battery. Combine! Select! Hey, it's on now. Okay, we definitely don't have the code yet, so I'm not even gonna look at it yet. And then we go over here, and we get the underwear. This one's wearing boxers. Yeah, looks like it. Why would a robot be wearing underwear? Maybe he's, uh, hiding something. Hiding what, though? Like a diary or something? Why the hell would you hide a diary in your crotch? Okay, well, maybe he's got a hose or something. Whoa, damn. Way to cut to the chase there. Whatever. We'll know as soon as we get them off. Remove these shorts of obfuscation and let us gaze upon it, this so-called hose. Alice, aren't you getting a little too excited about this? Okay. Ah, Luna, I haven't done anything yet. He's still decent. Besides, when you cover your face, you open your fingers so you can see out. How old are you? <laughs> ah, Luna, that's waifu. Ah, you guys are driving me nuts. I'll just take them off. Huh? Hiya! Okay, now we combine that with that. Nice. Oops. I didn't mean to click on that a second time. Alright, let's wipe this up. Okay, here it goes. You're going to wipe up the oil with the boxers, right? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Ah, uh, 
120 volts. Good. Looks like it's clean now. I wonder what this is. There's something written here that the oil is covering up. Do I need to click it again? Uh, <laughs> A, O, no. No, you're reading it from the wrong <laughs> angle. 120B. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we know that. But now what? What do we have? Oh, hey, the power's on. It's showing something. An authentication screen, maybe. It probably has some sort of security lock. Into the password. Okay, yeah, so we don't know the password yet. No good. Can't figure it out. I need some sort of clue. That still doesn't work. Um, could, could it be a button that activates all the robots? Ugh, just thinking about all of them suddenly waking up, turning to look at us with dead, inhuman eyes, and slowly beginning their inexorable march forward. We'd never survive if they all attacked us at once. <laughs> okay. What do, so we have... We have the name tag. Interesting. So when we look at the map, right? Not that. Sketch of the room. We have the table left, right, and then we have the V, which I imagine is supposed to be the volts, but that's right next to the... Oh, freaking hello. How did I not see this before? Okay. I didn't even see this whole platform before. Oh, it came down with the robots. That's why. Okay. Yes. It's got a pipe running out of it toward them. I have a feeling that means there's a connection there. Supply the correct voltage by connecting the wires. You can begin anywhere on the left and finish anywhere on the right. You can rotate a wire by clicking its corresponding square. The number in the middle of each wire indicates the voltage of that wire. Okay, let me just give this a try. Oh. My Lanta. Um. Okay. So we need to reach 120 by the end, by... Where are we supposed to get it to? We, do we just get anywhere on the right? So 35... 65... Um... We can't do 100 because there's no 20, right? So we definitely can't do the 100. We can exclude that completely. We also can't do the 60 and the 40 together. Um, so I was thinking 35, 35 is 70. No, that, that would be 100, so we can't do those three either. We could do 70, 40, 10. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh. Can I do something with this? 30, 65, 75. I can, right? If I'm not mistaken, that's 120. There we go. Nice. That wasn't bad. Just took a minute. Good job, Sigma. Oh, you're amazing. I've fallen for you all over again. Hey, what? What? <laughs> Power distribu distribution completed. Pre-boot sequence complete. Please press the power button located on the console. Whoa, whoa. What is? What was that? I'm not sure. Better do what it says, though. Okay. To the power button. Wee. 
That announcement just now was about this button. You guys ready? I'm gonna push it. I feel like we're getting close. Yes, I'm ready. Same here, go for it. All right, and there. Oh. Did it work? Ah, oh, look! Their eyes! Eyes. Oh, scary. <gasps> I think I know. I think I know. One of the robot's eyes is going red. Okay. Bear with me here. This thingy that we got, closer with an eye on it, is telling us the eyes. Which means I think the words are gonna be. The problem is, how do we know what the top row and bottom row is? Um, so. We have two blank one. How can I do this? What's the best way to do this? I think the best way is to use the memo, but how should I use the memo? I guess I can just do dots. I'll do sol- I'll, I'll try to do solid circles. And then I'll do hollow circles for, uh, for blanks, right? So blank, and then a solid. And then a blank. And then a solid. This might be the easiest way. And then blank. Blank. Solid. Uh, blank. Blank solid. All right, let's see what this comes out to. Um, archive. Eye on it. Memo. Okay, so... It, if we're gonna get a word, RB doesn't do anything. So maybe this is the bottom row? OS blank blank... Oh wait, no. OS blank F... Blank N. Well, that doesn't spell anything. Shit. It's not just the blanks, is it? Maybe? Do you think the blanks are the words? So it would be E blank E blank I C E E I C. I don't think that's right. What about C blank E? Blank C E H C. Well, shit, I thought I knew how this was supposed to be, but I'm a little confused. Because I, I imagine we're supposed to spell a word, right? Both the robot's eyes are glowing red, one of the robot's eyes is glowing red, one of the robot's eyes is glowing red. What if we do... What if we're supposed to do right to left? What if we do it in reverse? I don't know because that doesn't matter. That still doesn't spell... Does it or does it? Wait. So what if we're supposed to do from this side starting at the front? What if I did it backwards? So what if it's supposed to be R... Blank, blank, no, because that'd still be RM. Blank, blank, RMI, blank, RMIO. Yeah. Or if I were to do that, it'd be, um, What if I did the 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 dead eyes? E M The thing is is the red glowing makes me feel like like this red eye in the middle makes me feel like I'm supposed to do the red eyes. But what if I do the blank the, the ones that are out actually? E M blank No wait, hold on. 
That's a blank, so it'd be... Shit, did I do it wrong before? One blank is gonna be... The next open is gonna be B-E. And then a blank... E-A... B-E-E-A-C... Hmm... I don't think that's right. Interesting. So how are we supposed to do this? Let me check this way again, the the way I did it before, just to just to double check. Um, so yeah, R B would be the first one regardless. But what if I did like the open ones? It'd be blank blank E, blank E. Yeah, no, I did that right. Okay. What if I do the bottom row? Blank blank C, blank E, blank H. C E H blank blank C E H E E? I don't think that's right. Interesting. What if we do can we form any words? Screen is going white, I can probably leave it alone now. Okay, I just wanted to check. So I went from right to left. I wonder if I was supposed to go, I mean, I went from left to right. I wonder if I was supposed to go from right to left, right? Um. I guess either way I can just do it backwards, right? So the next one, if I do it in the same order again, going from right to left, from, or I guess from that end of the room to this end of the room, it's gonna be a blank, a solid light, right? And then a blank, and then a solid, and then a solid, And then a blank. And then two solids. And then two blanks. A solid. A blank. Okay. Maybe if we use the map as a guide, um... So, rough sketch of the room. What if this is how it's supposed to be from... Maybe it is supposed to be f like this, right? And that's the top row on the other chart. So, with that, if we assume that this new one I just did is supposed to be up here, right? And if we are supposed to go backwards, um, so let's see, I think this might be an easy way to do this. I'm actually going to clear this off because I have that code written down. So let's clear this, um, so that way we can do this, right, um, and clear it easily. Uh, okay, so I want to start right to left, but then go across, like, okay, so blank... Okay, so first one's a blank, so this is what I want to do. Just to help me out here. And then two blanks, skip one, two blanks. And then two good, and then blank. Um... Two, bl uh, two good and then blank, and then two good again, blank. And then... Beacon? Let's try it. 
I'm guessing that's what goes in here. Shit. It looks like we need to put in 12 characters. Oh, is there 12 of anything in here? So, it's gotta be 12 characters, so it's gotta be both words. Um... Let's go back to the poster with an eye, and then we need to go to memo, and then let's do that again the same way. So the first one's good, and then two blanks. First one's good, and then two blanks. Uh, and then one good, and then two blanks. One good, and then two blanks. And then one good, and then one blank. Ugh. That's not looking good. One good. Um... That, I think? O-F-H-O-P? That's not a word. No, I don't want to wipe the whole thing. Hold on, let's, uh... Let's try doing this one again. I feel like I made a mistake. Is it possible that this one is supposed to go the right way? But let's try it one more time the other way, so... Oh, I'm on a racer. So, one good, two blanks. One good, two blanks. So, one good, two blanks. One good, one blank. One good, one blank. One good, one blank. And then the last two are good. O-F-H-O-P-E. Of hope? That's not... Oh, beacon of hope. It's, it's three words. I'm an idiot. I did it right. Do I need to do spaces? Hey, okay, cool. I didn't have to do spaces. You did it, Sigma. You got through the login. Beacon of hope. How optimistic. Sure, sure. Look at the screen. Hmm, is this the password for the safe? Okay, so now we need the gold file. Is it possible that we just do that backwards? Do we need 12 digits again? <sighs> Last time I went to it a second time and got a hint and was kind of mad at myself. Okay, so let's go to the archive. So my thought was we still have this badge, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I was thinking, what if it's like Harold and then his code if we need six digits again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess we maybe could do a space or something, right? I doubt that's it. Harold, and then it was, oh, we can't even do a space, can we? Okay, so Harold didn't work. It was 11, zero, one, zero, right? 
No, I don't I don't think that's gonna be it. Huh, I don't get it. What is Luna talking about? What else is there 12 of in here? What else is there 12 of in here? I guess that they did give me a hint. Were there 12 frequencies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine frequencies. Interesting. Hmm. What else is there 12 of in here? That's interesting. Little hint. I mean, other than... Other than the robots, I'm not sure. Interesting. We don't need it anymore. You can view the room layout and the archive. The keyboard does nothing. Shit, we're so close, guys. Don't fail me now, brain. Archive. Rough sketch of the room. Unless that's not a tip for the gold. Maybe it- maybe that was a tip for the other password and I'm getting hooked on it. Okay, let's not- let's pretend that I didn't see that little hint. I don't think there's 12 of anything else, so what if we just did what I thought and tried it in reverse real fast? Um, I don't know if it works out to anything. Um... Archive. Poster with an eye on it. Memo. Um... Okay, so there's a couple different things I could try now that I know which one are supposed to be, like, top and bottom. So, we'll do the bottom one first, which is going to be, uh, there's a couple different things I can try. Let's try doing the hollow eyes first, rather than just doing, like, the opposite way, right? So it's going to be... Good, bad, good, good. So, good, bad, good, good. Bad, bad. Good, bad, bad. Good, bad, good. Good. Bad. Good. R-E-M... R-E-M-I-N-I... -I. Could it be, like, could it all combine? Or am I just doing it? I'd hate to do, like, a whole other thing, right? Wait, did I accidentally do... Good... Bad, good, 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 bad, good, good, bad, bad, good, bad, bad, good. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do it on the actual thing and then I'll just have to. I did it that way because I could like mass erase it. But if I do it here, I can just use, I can just use the eraser and erase it, and it'll be easier, so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Um, okay, let's just try the the backwards then. So, um, bad, good, bad, 
Good, good. Bad. So BME, that that's not gonna be a word. I can already tell that that's not the right way to do it. Damn, there's gotta be something to get a word using how the eyes are. And it's not just doing the... Because I did the good eyes before. If I tried to do the bad eyes, what does the bottom come out to? I guess I'll try it. Um, so that'd be bad. Good, good is going to be SC. So that's already not a word. Damn. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess there are some words that start with SC. I jumped the gun, maybe. Bad. Good, good, bad. Good, bad. Good, bad. Bad. That'd be S C E Sense. We had Reminiscence. Is that what it is? If I can spell that right. <laughs> Reminiscence. Sense. Damn. Shit. How do I spell it? <laughs> I, I think I might have it. I think I just spelled it wrong. Uh, hold on. We can go... Archive. Post with an eye on it. Memo. So we had... R... E... M... Right, let me just make sure. Um, we did the hollow, right? So it was bad. Yeah. Good, bad, good, good. Bad, bad. Good. Bad, bad, good, bad. Which is gonna be R E M I N I S C E N C E. Yeah, I think I definitely spelt that differently when I did it. Memo, so R E M I N I S C E Oops Backspace S C E N C E Hey, we did it! Sweet! This episode was a little longer than I had planned. I suspected as much. Good work, I'm impressed. What's our prize, I wonder? The screen's changed. Huh, this looks different. The symbols have changed, and they're different places. Uh, it was, uh, Star, Sun, Moon, I think it was. Let's open this up. Yep. Okay. Star, uh... Star, Sun, Moon, I think it was, right? Yeah! That should be the gold file, and then I'll have to go look at the other one. You did it, good work. Hmm, well done. What's with the attitude? Never mind that. Let's just see what's inside. Okay. Once again, guys, in case you didn't hear me in the other video, I haven't repeated it too much. Um, I'll be reading all the gold files that I miss at the end of the video. I guess my friend ended up, ended up going through, and some of them are very uh, spoilery. So, uh, Star, Sun, Sun. 
God damn it, I had it. There we go. Alright, finish this up and then we're definitely ending the episode because it is actually hella late right now. Oh, it opened again. I wonder what's inside this time. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's good, isn't it? Better than having nothing, at least. Let's go through them one by one. First we've got, yep, the map. They're gonna talk about being on the second floor, yep. Uh, keep going, there's still a lot in here. It must be, yep, key cards. Yep, she's solo, takes one of them. Oh, of course, thank you. All right, what's next? Looks like a note. Here are some of the more AB. Okay, so this was it. I mentioned this in one of my other videos that I think this, the green door was where we got this note and I went a, lo I went a while without knowing about these rules. And it really messed me up because I kept saying, why don't we all just just stay out of the room, you know? But I would have got us all killed. Okay. Up at least one person has to vote. Make sure people are actually playing the game regardless of the situation. Makes sense. What sort of situation are you talking about? Well, it could be anything, really. Whatever. We've got only or we've got two things left. What's this thing? <gasps> it's Kay's head! Wait, this was open and someone took that before. What? Who took it and why didn't they use it? This goes to Kay's head. Looks like some kind of plug or key. I guess you insert it into something and twist. <laughs> did you see anything in here that could fit into it? Even if we did... <gasps> is this why my friend likes this ending so much? Are we going to get to see who Kay is? Even if we did, it doesn't really matter at this point. What? Look in the safe. What's the last thing there? A key. Let's see, a key to exit? Pretty sure it is. We can get out now. Okay. Awesome. Let's... Wait. We should... What should we do about the plug? Um, fine. I guess I'll hold on to it. I doubt we'll need it, but you never know. Why are you so, like, anti-plug thing, Alice? Anything is useful if the, it's giving us doing that. Anyway, sounds good. Let's go. God damn it, Alice. Being so picky. Alright. Let's get out of here. We did it, guys. A puzzle room down. That's two puzzle rooms I did tonight without needing help. I'm so proud of myself. The lock for the door now says lock. You guys ready? I'm gonna open the door. Go ahead. I'm all set. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah! You found it! Alright, guys! Oh, God. I played so much ZE2. What? I just got chills. Holy shit. Was that the zero? Oh my god, I still have chills. I was just stretching, and that shit happened. What the fuck? Shit! But I have to end it, guys. We're an hour and 30 minutes into this video, although some of it's going to be cut out because I talked to my friend for a bit. But we are way too long, and it's actually almost 5 a.m. right now, and I still need to edit, like, three of these videos in one of the shows I recorded. I don't have time to play more. Damn it! Well, we're going to have to deal with this next time, guys. That makes me so sad. Fuck. Ah, uh, okay. Well, yeah. I got a lot done tonight. I finished a ton of endings. I finished two puzzle rooms. I got a lot done in, like, multiple sessions, or multiple episodes. I, I, I think I recorded three episodes tonight. So, yeah, I'm probably going to be... And this was, was a long one, too. So, uh, but yeah, we're getting so close to the end, guys. Uh, this stuff was interesting. We now have the key to open up, uh, Kay's head. I can't wait. I hope we do that in this line. That's gonna be interesting as hell. But, alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more right now. If you're anxious to see whatever this governor crap is, um, you can head over to my Patreon and you can get these episodes ahead of time right now. By supporting me on there and I very much appreciate it if you do. The link is in the description or you can go to patreon.com slash morthodon or it should be popping up on the screen right now. So yeah guys, thank you so much and I will see you in my future videos. Bye bye!